Lord, this man hath faced the sea and storm with ship and sail from the Falkland Islands to the mouth of Rio, from the Goa da Mangura to Cartagena. A man of the sea should die in the sea, but grief has killed our captain. Lord, less than three months ago, you took his son, his ship, the cloud, and the laughter of our island. They have disappeared. They are gone. Show him where our sons are hidden. Captain Christoph, the Lord will lead the way. Search heaven and hell for what became of the sheep that stole our sons. Look and rest, Charles Christoph, and take with you words of neighbors. Amen. This is for my son, Captain Christoph, and one for yours. Goodbye, my friend.
can't bear to be inside the house now. Let me stay outside for a little while. I'll get some coffee. I think we could all use it. Your father is gone, Dean. We all have our memories. But memories are giant clams that hold hearts beneath the water. You must fight the shell or drown. Yes. We have lost a brother, too. But until we have found out where and how our boat, the cloud, was sunk, he has lost his honor. You know, this killed your father. Three months ago, your brother Robert was alive, sitting here beside me in this chair. Now he's gone. And his ship is gone. Your brother was a good man. Proud to have the command you refused. The world is more than our island, Grandmere. To know it, you have to see it and live in it. Then why have you returned to St. Kitts? It could not be just for your father's funeral. Have you finished your education? Are you here to enlighten us? No. Somehow it seems the more I learn, the less I understand. Our ideas reek of old rope and sail, Grandmere. We need that part of the world Marcus brought back to us. But what have we to offer this gentleman? Nothing but a mark against the crisp of me. Ship lost in storm is one thing. But in the light of day, in the clear sea, the cloud bent down beneath the waters. And we must face the world scarred by the light fraud. Robert did not scuttle the cloud. Yes. But prove it, Captain. Prove it. Can you crush the cup? The cup? Yes. Can you crush it? Of course I can. Then crush it. Crush the cup. That is what life has left us. Pieces. You have taken your strength and given it to strangers. I'll walk you back to the house. No! That doesn't make sense. Even if there was an explosion aboard, there'd have to be some debris. Timbers, life preservers, an oil slick. Some things just won't go down with a ship. You sound like the insurance people, Mark. They thought it was a throwaway. And until we can prove otherwise, there'll be no money to cover the loss. Nothing left. Not even a trace. Nothing. And the eight crew members? Gone. Every one of them. 250 tons of ship. Men born and bred on the island disappear off the face of the earth on a calm, quiet sea. It's, it's impossible. Maybe Tobias can help us. Tobias? He asked to see us. Why don't you stand there? Hit him!
monkeys, what's the matter with you? The minute I turn my back, you're in trouble. Now, I told you before, I don't want this. Next time it happens, I'll pack you all in. And if not that, I'll work you over myself. Are these your men? Yeah, they're mine. They're all right. They just, uh... Well, you know, every once in a while, they get out of hand. Why don't you take them and get out of here? All right. If that's what you want. I was hoping you'd be intelligent about it. Let's go. How'd all this start? I guess they came into port for some fuel. I just came in for some supplies. Who are they? Weber. Tom Weber. That's why they jumped me. You get him in the car and take him on home. I'll come on later. Weber! Hold on! I'll listen to you when you learn some manners. Wait a minute, I want to talk with you. I'm Mark Kristoff. My brother disappeared with a cloud. I want to talk to you about it. Well, now you sound a little more reasonable. So you're Robert's brother. Well, I'll tell you. He was a good man, he was a good sailor. I don't think I can help you, but I'll try. All right, boys, go on back to the boat. Behave yourself. Would you like to talk about it over a beer? Fine. All right. That's the way she sounded when she hit the reef. You met my brother here at the Adams St. Kitts. That's right. When my boat, the Dagger, hit the reef, Ashby and I, he was my engineer, we jumped into a boat and we made it here. I don't know how we did it. I don't know how long we tossed. All I know is that the weather was bad. But we finally made it. Then what? Well, then the next day, we looked up your brother and we booked passage on the cloud. We spent two days looking for survivors. No luck, we couldn't find a thing. So we called it quits, and at the end of the second day, your brother left me, Ashby, and the mail off for the launch in Antigua, and he left. Where's Ashby? Where's Ashby? How many bars are there in the Caribbean? The rest of your crew? Well, the three Herrera brothers, those are those monkeys you saw down there. They made it all right. The other six, I don't know what happened. I signed them on at the island of Antigua, and I lost them at the reef. I suspect that they probably panicked and tried to make it to Tobago. And it's taken off a lot to make the cloud go down. There's an answer to this somewhere. I don't know what it is or where, but I'll find it. Well, maybe you will, Christoph. Maybe you will. But if I was you, I'd be careful. Because if hell brought it down, the devil's going to be there looking after it. Pretty well with Weber's sharks. Sharks are sharks. They've had a taste of blood and they'll be back. I suppose so. Look at time. I just got them cold. Good. Hey, you look like you could use one. More trouble? Mm. Nothing. Is this thing getting black? No. <laughs> it probably will. What did Weber have to say? Uh, nothing, except he was very sure of his facts. Tobias, could the cloud somehow have developed engine trouble and floundered? Joseph loved his machinery. He'd open the ship's hatches and show me the engines and the villages. And say, see? See, Father, how clean they are. I had no love for engines. Less for villages. But I loved my son for thinking I did. That was no engine trouble, Captain Ma. Almost anything can happen to a ship. Water spout, collision with a derelict, fire. That's the nothingness, the calm, quiet sea that makes this whole thing stink. On this voyage, was there anything, even the slightest thing different from all the other voyages? Only one. The cloud was two days late with the mail at Antigua. 
Weber said he paid Robert to stop and look for survivors. Two days? Two days to find what? Then what do you think happened? Weber lied when he said the cloud reached Antigua in safety. Evil was with her then. It boarded her at the Purple Reef. It is still there. I saw it as I see you now. I felt it as the sand underfoot. Claws, giant claws of a bird or beast of great height. Claws? Yes, I saw them twice and touched them. Once after the sinking of the tiger. And again, only a week ago. Have you mentioned this to anyone? Only to your father, Captain Christoph. But it was too late. He wasn't able to help. You were dying. I'll not speak of it again. I see you do not believe me. Well, we don't doubt you, Tobias. You were a friend of our father, and you're a man of truth. Then come to the reef with me. You will look and see for yourself. Let's go. Dagger hit on the windward side. an awful lot of wind to push all that tonnage that far up on the rocks. Anyone have her salvage rights? I don't know, Captain Mark. There's much to be taken. Come, I'll show you why I saw the claws.
about so big. The rain and the tide washed them away. But as God is my witness, they were there. I'll go look on the other side of the reef. What do you think? Oh, I don't believe in sea monsters, but Tobias is no fool. in the water we've never seen before. We're gonna have to recreate the last days of the cloud. Captain Mark? As the ghost hidden in the hills of St. Kitts, green as the trees and black as the earth. Ash. The engineer. Yes, I know where he is, because there's not a shell on the beach I have not sounded for answers. We need your car. Have you got any tobacco? You know, I can live with wild things. And I can talk to the birds if I have to. And I don't give a damn if I never see another woman again. But tobacco, God, how I miss it. What can I do for you, gents? I'm Mark Kristoff. This is my brother Dean and Tobias, a friend of the family. We're interested in the last few days of the cloud. The cloud? The cloud, yes. 
I nearly went down with it myself. Mr. Behar's breath. Did you know if there was anything wrong with her? Even the slightest thing? Wrong? No, nothing wrong. Best engines I ever heard. When my brother searched the reef for survivors, was there anyone else there? Never saw him if there was. Well, it's like a drink. The ladies bring some cheap rum up to me every once in a while. It, it's poison, <laughs> but it helps. No, thanks. One more thing, those six crewmen you lost, who were they? I don't know. You mean you don't know who crewed for you? No, I always call them boy till they've shipped with me once or twice. Well, there's a lot of ship out there in that coral, Ashby. Why don't you help us salvage it? Salvage? Salvage what? There's nothing out there but 40 fathom of water. They'll crush your lungs and push your heart up through your eyes. What are you trying to sell, mister? Suicide? Don't go with him. It ain't worth it. She's a bad ship. We'll be careful, Ashby. You, you won't say anything, will you? About where I am and all that. No, you have a word. Are, are you fellas going anywhere near Palmer? Uh, we just might be. You could look someone up for me. Uh, uh, name of Amboy, Rue Amboy. She's Tom Weber's partner. Uh, I, I knew her sort of casually once. I, I mean, don't don't tell her about me. Well, just see how she is. Pro am, boy, huh? All right, we'll try to find her. Y you know, I, I like you. A lot of you, and I believe you. So I'm going to tell you something. Stay away from that ship. And don't trust Weber. Don't trust him, no matter what he says or how he says it. find out who crewed for Weber? When six men are lost, there are many tears to trace. You stay here in St. Kitts until we get back in a day or two. We're going to take the boat to Palmer. Club, Cruise Street. You stick here. I'll be back.
looking for Rue Amboy. She's out on the porch. Follow your ears. Miss Amboy? Yes? What can I do for you? My name's Mark Kristoff. So? A friend of yours sends his regards. I have a lot of friends. Well, this one's named Ashby. Do you know him? Sure I do. He's a sweet, sentimental old drunk. What is it you want, Mr. Kristoff? Well, I thought maybe you could help me out. How? This man, Weber, I understand he's your partner. All the way. Well, then you know about the cloud. The cloud? The ship that was lost. My brother and the crew went with it. Weber and Ashby were the last ones to see it afloat. Ashby? Weber's engineer. On the dagger? Didn't you know? No, I didn't. Furthermore, it's really none of my business. It's half your business. Mr. Kristoff, what Tom Weber does away from the flamboyant is no concern of mine. I hope not. I'd hate to think that you had anything to do with the death of those men. Meaning you think somebody did? Meaning I think Weber did. Mr. Kristoff, Tom Weber is a lot of things, but he's no murderer. No? No. He's my partner, remember? Yeah, like you say, all the way. Will there be anything more? No, I guess not for now. Thanks. I hadn't stayed so late at that party. Who was he? Who was he? Who was who? I didn't see anybody. I was just tinkering with a motor and... I didn't see anybody. Oh, boy.
boat in the cove belongs to that nosy old Tobias. I know, I know. I doubt if he had anything to do with the dagger slipping off the rocks. But let's find out. a drowned man, my friend? It isn't pleasant. What happened to the dagger? What happened to the dagger? It's a pity, my friend that you're strong and wise. Take him in the deep waters. You go home, Bob. Thank you, Ruth. We're uh, way over the limit here. We'll take the bet. Uh -huh. Go ahead. All right. Number two, black. See the cashier. I'll okay a check.
Good evening. How was your trip, Mr. Wilder? It's very nice, Pip. It was very nice. How have you been? You been busy? Very busy, sir. I don't know what you want, lady, but you're gonna have to control yourself. Give me another one right now. Look at this, Peppy. I think I got a woman who's bothering me. If I were really bothering you, you wouldn't be able to think. How you been? Wonderful. How was the trip? Too long. Too long. Not here, Tom. Christoph was here today. Oh, yeah? He's a nice fellow. I met him. Very sincere. He was asking a lot of questions about your boat, the dagger. What? What did you tell him? What I know? Nothing. Did he mention Ashby? Why? I've been tearing up the islands looking for that drunk. What do you want with him if he's just a drunk? I miss him. Tom, where was the dagger headed when she hit the reef? Now, listen, we got an arrangement, remember? No questions asked. Now, let's keep it that way. It's not such a big question. Where? Tampa. You're keeping something from me. You know I wouldn't do that. I know you would. Hey, hey, come here. Hey. Now, listen. I've been gone four days and four nights. Be nice. What's this? Now, what's this all about? What are all these questions? What, are you nervous? You're on edge? You don't trust me? What's the matter? Five years is a long time. Well, I know it's a long time. One of these days, we're going to be on a boat headed to the States. If we land, we don't look back. We don't see these islands again. Sometimes I wonder. You don't trust me, baby. Tom. What's so important about finding that man, Ashby? I'm gonna kill him. Anything out there? Nothing. I didn't thank you for saving my life. For how long? There ain't a drop of fresh water on the reef. Perhaps we can build a raft. Never get her through the surf. Claws. <laughs> what a fool an old man could be. It was you who made the marks on the sand. That's right. And it was you who dynamited the dagger and sent it to the bottom. Yep. When Christoph said salvage, there was too much to be found. So I had to get her off the coral. Forty fathom of water can bury a big secret. Secret? You know, I, I could have sunk that old tub a hundred times. Without a hitch. Just bad luck. We got her on the reef all right. She wouldn't break up. She just hung there like a... like a ballet dancer. So I had to dynamite her. Why the hell do you think I've been hiding on the beach? I scuttled the dagger for Weber. And he ain't gonna let me live long, knowing what I know. And the cloud? I don't know about the cloud. I'll tell you if I knew. I mean, we ain't gonna leave here. So I'll tell you if I do. You're not a bad man, Mr. Ashby. Perhaps God will let you return to your wife. Be wife? <laughs> She's been dead and buried for 15 years. Then who is Ruan Boy? Captain Christophe? Yes? A lady wants to see you. What lady? 
You know her. Well, don't keep the lady waiting. We didn't get this thing started. expect to see you again so soon. I'm glad you came. You know, this is my own private view. It's quite an honor. I don't share it with everyone. It's very nice. It's really best during a storm, when the breakers are pounding on the rocks. You know, that's my trouble, Mr. Christoph. I never did get with the soft and gentle things. I enjoy the wild side too much. You didn't get me out here just to talk about the weather. You were asking about Ashby, about the dagger. I told you I didn't know anything. That was a lie. Was it? Yes. I, I had a reason. You see, well, Ashby is my father. He was in prison for killing a man. He came here five years ago after he escaped to the islands. Poor darling. I guess he'll never really escape, though. He seems like a nice guy. What was he doing aboard the dagger? That's what I don't understand. The dagger's destination was Tampa, Florida. He never would have signed on if he thought he was going to reach the States. He couldn't have taken a chance on being put behind bars again. And the dagger had to be headed for the rocks and the reef. Why are you telling me this? I'd like to make a trade. Trade? You need information, and I need help badly. What kind of help? Weber's threatened to kill my father. He's got to find him first. Where is he? Safe, and that's where he's going to stay. Well, you can tell me. I'm his daughter. I know you said that. Don't you believe me? Look, lady. Weber's a clever man. He could very easily send his partner to read a lie. <laughs> You've got to believe me. You know, you ought to try the soft and gentle side. Who knows, you might get to like it. started yet? No, I just got to put the manifold back on. You take the boat and go to St. Kitts and find Ashby. Ashby? Bring him to the commissioner's office in Antigua and I'll meet you there. Dean, be careful. <laughs> I was on the pier the night Mr. Weber and Ash became ashore with the mail. The cloud left in perfect weather and disappeared. That's what I told the insurance people, and it's the truth. Well, I'm sure you think it's the truth, but you did say night, didn't you? Yes. Well, couldn't another ship have dropped them off? Impossible. Commissioner? Did you actually see my brother or his men in the dinghy? I saw them rowing back to the boat after dropping the mail. Fifty yards away at night? Yes, I saw the dinghy. Look, there's one more thing. Those six crew members that Weber hired here at the island, did you know any of them? I'm sorry, Christoph. I'd like to help if I could. But there are so many sea tramps passing through the island, it's pretty hard to keep track. Have you seen Weber lately? Yes, he passed through yesterday on his way to Seal Island. Well, thanks, Commissioner. I hope I haven't caused you any trouble. No trouble, Christoph. No trouble at all. Oh, and by the way, when Ashby and your brother show up, will you have them come to the office? Right. Where's the 
Miss Ashby. I looked everywhere. Nothing was touched in his hut. He, he just wasn't there. I don't think the cloud ever reached Antigua. No, but people saw the mail delivered. That was just Commissioner Quartz. That was at nighttime. Could have been anyone. I'm sure whoever scuttled the dagger, but how it ties in with the cloud, that's something else. Well, if that's the truth, then maybe Weber has Ashby. He passed through here yesterday on the way to his place. Let's stop by and see him. dagger off the reef knew what they were doing. What do you mean, whoever blew the dagger off the reef? Ashby blew it off the reef. Who else has the know-how? You monkeys couldn't get it down when the only thing between the ship and the bottom was water. You gotta find Ashby. I tell you, you gotta find Ashby! What are you going to do about the roof? I don't know it! I don't know. I honestly don't know. The crystals just ain't get out in the cold. All right, now listen. This thing is coming to a head. From here on in, I don't know what's going to happen. I want you guys to stay close, but I want you out of sight. You got it? Go ahead. No, thanks. Where can I find the Rare Brothers? What he asked me for, I don't know. Where are they? Well, why are you so curious? Because I think they know what happened to the cloud. Well, they don't know what happened to the cloud. Nobody knows what happened to the cloud. I told you that before. You're wrong, Weber. I think you scuttled a dagger and the cloud went with it. Ruan boy tell you that? No. Ashby. You expect me to believe that? Huh? What do you think, I just fell off a Christmas tree? You have to realize, Christoph, there's very little that happens on this island that I don't know about. You've been talking to Rue. But there's one thing she obviously didn't tell you. I lost $15,000 when the dagger went down. In the first place I overpaid for that hulk it was war surplus material and I could have got it cheaper. And in the second place, it's no secret that my insurance only covers the mortgage for $60,000. Now, come on. Why don't you be a good boy and come on up and have a drink? No, thanks. <laughs> They'll never find out. I think they may already know. Ashby's alive someplace and the crystals aren't scaring. I've got to talk to Rue. Get the boat ready, I'll meet you later. Cable Lloyds of London. I want to check on all the past owners of the dagger. Everything points to a throwaway for money. But his insurance didn't cover his loss. How could it be for insurance? Well, something he said about war surplus. Weber's not about to overpay on anything. Well, speaking of money, I haven't got enough to send the cable.
At least he only dropped one. No, they both went down together. It just looked like one from where you were standing. Come on, Giv. I'll meet you at the cable office. Where are you going? I'm going to go help Rue. She wasn't lying. No, no, you never make them dry enough. Get away, will you? Go away, Jerry. I'll do it myself. Yes, Oh, it's you. I'd uh, like to say I'm sorry. For what? For saying that Weber sent you to see me. I was wrong. Join the club. I've been wrong all my life. You get your things packed. We have a place at St. Kitts on the far side of the island. You'll be safe there. You're worried about me? Well, Weber knows you came to see me. He thinks you crossed him. If I'm right, he's seen a lot of blood in the past few months. He's not going to stop him a little bit more. I cabled Lloyds of London to check on all the past owners of the dagger. What do you expect to find? Fraud. And the big one. How? Well, what if Weber from the start bought and sold the dagger through dummies? I don't follow. Well, after the war, he could have bought the dagger real cheap, say, $5,000 at auction. Reworked her and sold her for $50,000. Then bought it again himself for $75,000. Now, it's overpaying, but he's always both buyer and seller. Then he insures it for the mortgage price, say, around $60,000. The ship goes down. The insurance company pays off on the mortgage. On the surface, it looks like he's lost $15,000. But as a hidden mortgage holder, he's made $55,000 on the deal. I know it sounds crazy, but we'll soon know. Now, you go get your things packed. I don't have to run. I can handle Tom Weber. Look, don't argue with me, Rue. Either you get on that boat for St. Kitts or I'll drag you there. Understand? When you get to St. Kitts, just ask anybody where the Kristoff home is. My ground will take care of you. Should have come along a little sooner, Mark. Just a little sooner. It's still not too late. sold the dagger several times, but he always bought it back himself. Through dummy companies. He's owned it all the time. You know, when you dropped those coins over the side into the water, you said that they went down together, just looked like one. Well, I think I know what happened to the cloud. What if both ships went down together, the dagger over the cloud? Then one oil slick could cover everything. Let's get some equipment. Equipment? We're going to reef and dive. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I wish I knew. I wish you know, or you don't forget to take all those clothes to the movies. You went to see Kristoff, didn't you? Didn't you? What if I did? What'd you tell him? Nothing. You felt lonely, you wanted to talk. You could call it that. I could, huh? That's where you're going now, to him, right? Well, that figures. You always moved around pretty good, Rube. Rode drunks in every cheap saloon in the island. Lied and cheated your way from one man to another ever since you can get in and out of a red dress. You're right, Tom. I'm every dirty thing you think I am. Well, you won't have to bother with me anymore. Come here. Can 
not going out that door. You're not going anywhere unless I tell you to. Oh, yes, I am. I've had it. I don't want to have to hurt you, Ruth. Take your hands off me. I don't know how I could have ever let you touch me. I said, take your hands off me. Mark, somebody's been here. There are a lot of footprints. Captain Mark. We got plenty of water in the boat. It's all right. It's all right, my friend. They got water. Come on, Ashby, and have a drink. What's he doing here? He's the one that sent the dagger into deep water.
why, that's the clown at Antigua. I say you're lying. It's a deep dive down to the bottom of that reef, but I'm going to chance it. You know who I'm going to find there, don't you, Ashby? There's nothing down there, Archie. There's nothing down there. Then you got nothing to worry about. But if I come up and there is something there, I'll kill it myself, Captain Ma. Let's get the diving equipment. I'm telling you, you don't go. What's down there, Ashby? Is the cloud down there? Yes. of me was supposed to run the dagger under the rocks during the storm. We did, but not on the schedule. Weber didn't know we were late. He thought it'd be another ace in his hand if he had some legitimate witnesses. So we asked Robert to stop the cloud and look for survivors. Yeah. When he found the dagger was still afloat, he, he couldn't afford any witnesses. He killed Robert and his crew, sank the cloud, and scuttled the dagger on top of her. That he didn't have any choice. And from the sky, one ship can bleed for two. What happened to Weber's crew members? They didn't exist. What did it mean to a man like Weber? Bullets, a whip in the hull, and everything's back on schedule. Did you see Rue, Captain? Yes, I saw your daughter, Ashby. I sent her to St. Kitts. She'll be safe there. Thank you, Captain. Captain Mop! Captain Mop, come quick! Back to the boat. No. We don't stand a chance in the open sea. We're too fast for us. I wish we had some guns. I've got a gun. You better keep it. You're gonna need it. Let's get behind those rocks and wait.
don't know, but one of Weber's men is behind that building. Let's go. They're in those old ruins up on the hill. Fine, go down to the beach and come in close from the other side. We'll wait until he gets into position, and then we'll move in from here. was full, but there's only two left. Now, let's get back to the boat. At least they won't be able to get behind us. I'll cover you, see if you can get behind that building over there on the right. There's two shots. He's got to be out of shells.
Bias? He's dead. Mark, he did it for his son. And Robert, the men of the cloud. A lady named Roe.